myself TV Sangeetha, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. In this video, we are going to see the topic oxidizing and reducing agent which is given in the fourth unit of the organic syllabus. So here, oxidizing and reducing agent. Before you go to see the oxidizing and reducing agent, first you must know about oxidation and the reduction process. In the chemical reactions, when an atom, ion or molecule loses its electrons means that process is called as the oxidation process. In the oxidation process, the oxidation state of the chemical species or the substrates are increases. The reduction. Reduction means when the atom or ion or molecules gain the electrons means that process is said to be a reduction process. So during the reduction, the oxidation state of the chemical species or the substrates are decreases. So now let us see the oxidizing agent. Oxidizing agent is very similar to oxidation process. The oxidizing agent is otherwise called oxidant and the oxidizing agents are gain the electron and is reduced in the chemical reactions. The reducing agent. The reducing agents are otherwise called a reductant. The reducing agent process is similar to oxidation. That means it loses the electron and it is oxidized in the chemical reactions. So let's see with one example the reactions between magnesium and the sulfur. So when these two are reacted means it's a form of magnesium sulfide. So before the reaction the oxidation state of magnesium as well as the sulfurs are zero. So after the formation of magnesium sulfate, the oxidation state of the magnesium is increases from 0 to plus 2. That means the oxidation is in oxidation state is increases. That means here the oxidation is occur. Uh, consider for the sulfur, the oxidation state is uh, decreases from 0 to minus 2. That means here the reduction is occur. So from this example, we very well known about the oxidation and the reduction process. Let us see reducing and the oxidating agent. You consider A is the reducing agent. So here the electrons are losses. The electrons are losses means now the A is oxidized. Now the A is act as the reducing agent. Let consider the example for B. That here the electrons are gained. The electron gains means the B is reduced. So now the B is act as the oxidizing agent. So for your easy remembrance for oxidation and reduction we use the term GER and LEO. GER in the GER uh, G stands for gains and E stands for electrons and R means the stands for reduction. In the LEO L stands for losses, E stands for electron and O stands for oxidation. So for your easy remembrance oxidation and reduction we use the terms GER and LEO. RO that is the oxidating agent is always reduced. Similarly, the reducing agents is always oxidized. So here we see the table. Uh, so in one column the metals are given and in the another column the non-metals are given. So in the metal uh, the strong reducing characters are reduces from the top to bottom. That means the element which are present in the top of the table is always having a strong reducing character. Similarly for non-metal, the uh, non-metals which are present above the table, that means the top of the table is always having a strong oxidation character. Uh, the non-metals which are present in the below the table is always having a lower oxidation character. This table is very helpful to know which metal and non-metals are having a strong oxidation and the reducing agents. To discuss uh, with the two examples like uh, iron and copper. Uh, in iron and copper we don't know which one is having a more oxidizing and which one is having a, a more reducing character. So this table is very helpful to you. In the table iron is present in the top so it's always uh, used for the strong reducing agent and the copper is used for strong oxidizing agent. Similar for magnus and the cobalt. The magnus is somewhat uh, above the uh, cobalt. So the magnus is act as a strong reducing agent and the cobalt is act as a strong oxidizing agent. Let us uh, compare the uh, oxidizing and reducing character for bromine and iodine. The bromine and iodine both are non-metals. Here the iodine is uh, present in the below uh, bottom of the table so it's always used for the reducing agent and bromine is used for the strong oxidizing agent. 
so in the in our syllabus some examples of oxidizing agents are given what are they means potassium permanganate chromium oxide potassium dichromate hydrogen peroxide ozone faint transfer agents etc and also for this redu reducing agent hydrogen palladium rene nickel hydrogen platinum zinc amalgam and tin amalgam etc those are given in the syllabus thank you